This is just a collection of rough ideas. It just outlines a method of creativity, a way of publishing and writing. I have just called it the dialectical method, but that's just something that I wanted to give it a name and I couldn't think of anything else to call it. So the dialectical method is just my way of labeling it. It's just basically an approach towards developing content and ideas that can feed into some sort of creative process, probably writing, podcasting, and video recording. And it's just a brainstorming process and a basic understanding that I will develop into something more substantial as I develop. The whole idea here is to just put it onto YouTube and to provide myself with some sort of transcription and look at it as a process to be able to understand some of my ideas and how they could evolve. So it's a rudimentary basic level of understanding at this stage, which obviously will develop. In the later part of this video, you'll see there's a mind map and that gives an outline of all the processes and all the ideas that relate to this. You can follow that as you listen to my narration, you would be able to follow as I go through that. But I haven't provided any sort of highlighting or anything that will guide you through that. So you'll just have to look at it very carefully. Anyway, it's rather basic. We are trying to just get a hang of the dialectical method that's involved in this learning model that I've just constructed. We start off with a writing process. And in the writing process, we collect as many ideas as possible are going to be written down into some form or another. This could be a Word document, Google document, Google Docs. We can place all our information in a Google Docs using the tool of typing or speech input. Speech input in Google Docs is pretty good for this type of thing. So we're just generating these free flowing ideas. So all these ideas are just flowing into a written piece. Wonderful that we have an opportunity in collecting a whole lot of phrases over here. And the output from this particular process is a content, a long written piece with lots of useful and interesting information. But it's going to be something that we're going to have to revise and feed through and generate something more from that. So we've got this long content written piece. We can't vast amounts of information have been written down in a free flowing idea, a large, fairly lo large document at this stage. Now we move on to the revision, the revising of this long written piece. We need to look at it and we need to take something out of that to get some basis in knowledge. We want to be able to understand it so that we are very fluid in our being able to interact with this base of content. We want to be able to interact and have a good relationship with this knowledge base because basically that's what it is. It's a relationship between the knowledge base and the actual author. So what we do is revise, we go through it, we listen to it, it's auditory. We listen to the long written piece, we read through it, we add, we comment in and we research. We can go onto Google, we can go and read and we add more to the document. So the document gains a lot more in this process of revision. We can change things, we can throw out and development is some sort of in that process of interacting with this long written piece, there's this refining of it. And in that, the final result of that is that the long written piece becomes refined. And also we have a greater base of knowledge, greater knowledge base. We have a refined written piece. At the end of this process, it is largely refined and it's been worked through. Then we go into the reading. Now, when we read this, we are still fulfilling this building of a knowledge base. We go through immersive reader, we go through highlighting what is most substantial, and we start laying out the document as an outline. We outline the document and see what its main features would be. And we go and we highlight it, we use immersive reader, and we read through the document, and we start taking out extracted pieces, and we, we put this and we start understanding, is this document maturing? What's the maturation of this knowledge base? We're taking it out and we extracting a separate document. So this is a separate document, which is our speech notes. So we're not taking out a length. We don't want a lengthy document. These are extracting our speech notes. 
It's an extraction process. Process. The reading is an extraction process where we're taking out and we're seeing whether our speech notes are maturing. So we're taking out little bits and pieces. We're making changes to this long written piece still, but we're taking out into a separate document, which are the speech notes. And that will be keywords and outline of a document. We've got some sort of skeletal structure that is developing. Now, this skeletal structure is going to be part of our, our further development towards a sound file. So we take out and we've got all these keywords and our speech notes are starting to come out from this. And we, we then take that separate document, so it's not this long written piece, the long written piece can be put one side, the speech notes are now the basis for a recorded reading. So we're going to then go through those speech notes, we do a recorded reading, trying to refine that re recording to be fairly fluid, and it's a fairly developed sound file that comes out of the record recorded reading at, that is being generated. So we've got the sound file that came from those speech notes. So the speech notes form the basis of the recorded reading. And from this sound file, we're going to then develop that sound file and we just go through it and we take out all the ums and ahs. And then we have a SoundCloud file that we can then use and publish as a podcast. So once we have published it as a podcast, we then have something to work towards the slide angle of this particular project. And that would be merging the graphic images with slides and sound. Can I help you? Uh, there's no one here because the computers aren't working. Okay, so then we would have so so sound and slides merging together, and we can then move towards a YouTube podcast kind of system where the sound bites are linked up with a PowerPoint display, a sort of PowerPoint with YouTube or sound bites. So each one of the graphical representations or the slides has got adequate sound files that link up with it and it just moves as a YouTube broadcast. Now once we've done that and we've published it to YouTube, we then extract the transcript. The transcript's going to give us all the writing that's involved. So that part of the process is extraction of the transcript, it means we go into the transcript and we take out all of the writing that goes with that slideshow. We then bring that into a Google Doc, or we can bring it into a text file or a Word document, and we can then go through the process of correcting the language and working on that part. So we take the transcript out, we collect the grammatical structures within that, I'm just wondering whether it is possible to just take it directly from the speech notes in uh, that we we got after we did the reading. So that's something we could look at. So you got to, we can, but we will take some form of document and then we're going to start correcting the language. And it could be in this particular model, it shows the transcript. So the transcript forms the base to correcting the language, which then feeds into editing. So we go through this transcript, we correct the language in it, we go through with a spin doctor, grammatical checks, Google Translate, getting the right way of expressing it, and then we go on to having a document which is pre-publishable. It's a document that is just ready for external editing. So we go through that and we just merge a little bit or work through that document and we edit it and we pass it on to an external editor, somebody that we know that could give good feedback and they'll read through it, looking at it and seeing the viability of this for publication. Now this will not be publishing a house or anything like that. At this particular stage, it's still fairly close to you. It hasn't gone to the point of a making it published beyond the organization I work in. We'll You'll check the maturity of it. Is it viable that it could go on further to be an edited version? So you're going to then, after it comes back from external editing, and this particular individual has checked it for mistakes, spelling mistakes, oversights, and it's gone through some sort of peer review, gone through a peer reviewing stage, then it'll be touched up again and looked at by it'll, we'll have an edited version that'll come after the external edit and it, the edited version then will be prepared for publication and that'll be checking the one last look at it and we'll discuss it with the external editor 
So the external editor would then be negotiated and discussing this preparation for publication, and then we pass it on to a published publishing house or internal publishing, possibly, that is also possible. You could even self-publish this. Now, it's an interesting model. So basically, to revise it all once more, there's the start with this writing process, which is just the generation of all these very rough ideas. And those slowly but surely will evolve into your final refined document videos and your podcasting. So it's just showing how this evolutionary process plays out and formulates into some structured form. So I'm hoping that that's what I'll get out of this. It all begins with just throwing the ideas, collecting phrases, generating these ideas, and that can be used to develop some written piece, which is learning content. And the learning content itself needs to feed into another process, which is commenting on it, writing down, listening to it, generating new ideas that feed once more into it and into separate documents. And this is a maturation. Everything's kind of developing, getting more, more refined through the process. And it all branches out into different forms. It could be podcasts, videos, slide presentations, and a publication of some sorts. Hopefully it could have the substantial basis to writing and some other form, maybe even artwork.